Do you want to know how to set up dynamic UTM parameters for your Google Ads? If so, you're in the right spot. But first, let me explain what the dynamic element of UTM parameters really is. Dynamic means that you don't need to type in the physical campaign name or ad group name or even the ad name of your actual UTM string. What this means is we will set our UTM parameters at the account level so they will dynamically adjust to each each campaign and ad group when you turn things on or off. So it's a set it and forget it setup. Also just go to the description down below and you can copy and paste my dynamic UTM structure. Okay, so now you can see my account level tracking template right here. So this will pull the landing page URL, the UTM source set to Google, the median set to CPC. And this is UTM campaign. This is where you can see that I set right here for it to be dynamic. And it's denoted by these curly braces here. This means that Google will pull out the name of the campaign rather than just a string of numbers. A lot of times you'll see people use UTM campaign ID and it's like 86234, all these numbers that you really don't want. You'd rather it say the exact name of the campaign. Next, you can see UTM term, keyword, UTM content, ad group, UTM match type, and this will show the exact match type you're using. So broad phrase or exact match, UTM device and UTM ad, ad creative. And if you want a further breakdown, you can read these here. Also, this doc is in the description below too, if you want to access it. And then here's how you'll implement this tracking script. We'll go to Google ads, tools, settings, account settings, tracking. All right, so I'm going to scroll back to the top, copy this tracking template and then jump into Google Ads. Now I'm in my Google Ads account. On the left side, I'm gonna put my cursor over admin, jump up to account settings. All right, and first we wanna make sure that we have auto tagging on. So auto tagging essentially will allow Google to use an auto tagging feature. Think of this more as a safety net for also using your UTMs. But what we wanna focus on is going to this tracking option here and go to tracking template and copy and paste the UTM structure I shared in the description down below. Now you're all good to go. Now, if you want to test it, you can click this test and it will be able to show a check mark if it was able to come through. You can put your cursor over it and it'll show you an example of what the attributes look like. Now, because these are dynamic elements, um, it, it won't be able to pull the actual campaign name because it's not a real ad click yet. So if you want, after you put this in, you can get, go ahead, click close and save. And if you really want to test it, the way to see it, how it's truly functioning is to go out into the real Google ad space and click on one of your active ads. Yes, you might have to pay a dollar or two to test it, but you'll be able to see how it populates in the top URL area. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If this was helpful for you, feel free to leave a like down below. Helps me out a ton. And let me know in the comments what other things you need help with on Google Ads. And I'm happy to make videos to help you guys out. All right, bye.